Hey, this is Justin from SaveAndQuitGaming.com, and this is my review for Dead Island. In Dead Island, you find yourself on a lush, tropical island full of tourists and partygoers. All good things must come to an end when you wake up to find that there has been a contagious zombie outbreak that has claimed the lives of nearly the whole island. You play as one of four characters who are immune to the virus and fight through The Walking Dead to save other survivors. You start off down the hall from the family who were in the debut trailer who had to throw their daughter out the window. You cannot believe how excited I was to find these people. I love little easter eggs. Dead Island sets itself apart from other zombie games by adding an RPG aspect to the game. Much like Borderlands, each character you choose from has their own special abilities. When you level up, you can upgrade these abilities and wield better weapons. As someone who likes to see how they're doing whenever I play a game, I was pleased to find they offer game stats. Here you can check your progress as well as how many heads you've popped off The Walking Dead. This game has challenges out the yin yang. No matter if you're following along the main path or working along side quests, you will always be taking part in challenges. To complete the challenges, you must do things like decapitate X number of zombies. Depending on how much time you spend on side quests, the game can take anywhere between 15 and 35 hours to complete. Considering most games are beaten within 8 hours, this is awesome. Even after you beat the game with one character, you can have a second run through with another character, giving this game an insane amount of lasting appeal. While the gameplay is as addicting as heroin, the game is full of less than stellar graphics and cutscenes. Sometimes it takes a few extra seconds for the graphics to load in, and even when they do, things can look a bit dirty. Then there are little gripes about things like your feet not touching the car's pedals. Dead Island has very little punishment for dying. After you get killed, you just start right up again minus a few hundred bucks. Oddly enough, even with that, your heart doesn't beat any slower as you run for your life from a horde of zombies chasing you. You'll really want to live. A fun, yet sometimes annoying addition to the game is the usage of a stamina bar. Adding this stops you from spamming attacks or sprinting for miles. All weapons degrade as you use them, sometimes quicker than I feel like an axe should degrade, but you can repair them and upgrade them by finding workbenches throughout the island. You can also make new weapons by finding mods scattered along your way. Why use a baseball bat when you can use a broken broomstick that you can start on fire? Co-op works really well in this game. If you have your game set to co-op mode, another player can join you at any time, and if you're near another player, you can easily join their game. But there is a big strike towards Dead Island with a lack of local co-op. You might find when you're playing Dead Island that you'll have much more fun if you're playing with someone else than by yourself. Playing by yourself can sometimes get extremely difficult, especially if you're running ahead too quickly. Despite Dead Island's minor flaws, the game is still very well done. With a huge world to explore and thousands of zombies and thousand ways to kill them, Dead Island did the overdone zombie shooter genre right. SaveAndQuitGaming.com gives Dead Island for the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC an 8 out of 10. Aim for the head.